Hi, I'm Ray McBerry, pastor here at Pinnacle Baptist Church. I want to say thank you to all those that tune in and listen or watch our services every week right here at Pinnacle Baptist Church. You're a big part of the ministry here, just as much as those of us that are here in person each week. And I want to thank you for all the kind emails and comments that you leave uh, on our social media or emails that you send to me personally through the church's website. Uh, in fact, I encourage you to go on the church's website and sign up to receive our, our weekly email update. I think it goes out on Sunday morning and also on Wednesday morning with a different uh, message each time. Uh, but I encourage you to do that. But I'm coming to you today uh, to tell you about a very exciting special service that we have coming up on July the 21st. On July the 20th, I've been invited by Mr. Lynn Wood uh, to uh, be the keynote speaker at a patriotic rally in South Carolina. And then the very next day though, we have a special service here at Pinnacle Baptist Church. On July the 21st, we'll be having a baptismal service and we'll have a regular Sunday morning service like we always do with Sunday school and Sunday morning worship at 11 o'clock. But when the morning worship service is over, we'll be having baptisms and we have a number of people that are already lined up to be baptized. They've been saved, but not yet been baptized. And I've had a number of people that have already heard about this baptismal service that have reached out and asked if they could come and be baptized here at Pinnacle Baptist Church on that day as well. So uh, I wanna share a little more information about that. And if, uh, if it is fitting for you, then please, reach out to us. First of all, uh, who should be baptized? Well, no one should be baptized unless they're already saved. Uh, the purpose of being baptized is to show that you are now a Christian, you have been saved. It both pictures the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Christ. It also pictures the fact that once I get saved, I am, at that moment, I'm literally uh, buried in Christ by the Holy Spirit. I'm totally immersed, totally dunked by the Holy Spirit into Christ, and I'm not ashamed of that. That's what baptism is. It is figurative, uh, it is symbolic, it does not save anyone, it does not help save anyone, and it does not help keep anyone saved after they are saved. But it is a command that the Lord Jesus gave to us, and it does identify us with the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you've been saved, but you've never been scripturally baptized after being saved, that is by immersion, then we would invite you uh, to consider yourself as a possible candidate for being baptized with us on that day if you'd like to be. But in addition to being saved, not only should a person be baptized, uh, but they should be baptized in the local church that they intend to be a member of. Now, if you're a member of another church somewhere else, or if you intend to be a member of a local church somewhere else, then you should be baptized at that church by that pastor and become a part of that church family, and baptism should be a part of that. Here at Pinnacle Baptist Church, I generally only baptize those who are wanting to actually become members of Pinnacle Baptist Church. And so we have, over the last year, we've begun allowing people to become online members of Pinnacle Baptist Church simply because it's becoming harder and harder to find Bible-believing, Bible-preaching churches across the country in different places. I strongly encourage you, if you're able, to find a good Bible-preaching church in your area, a true local New Testament church, and be a part of that church. The reality is that anyone can be saved and go to heaven without being a member of a local church afterwards, but I don't believe you can be right with God without being a member of a local church. So if you have a local church you can attend in person, that's the best thing to do. But if you can't find a good Bible preaching church to attend in person, and you'd like to consider becoming an online member of Pinnacle Baptist Church, then we have plenty of information on the website that you can go and look at that. And if after looking at all of that and listening to all of that, you feel like you'd like to become a member of Pinnacle Baptist Church, then I would invite you to consider yourself as a candidate for uh, that special service we're gonna have on July the 21st. And if you've not yet been baptized, uh, you can contact us and let us know that you'd like to be baptized on that day. If you've already been baptized, but you'd still like to become a member of Pinnacle Baptist Church, you can either do it online or you can come here and do it in person 
on that day on July the 21st. But either way, there are some things I'd like you to know about our church before becoming a member. And those things are all listed on the church's website. So there are things to read, things to listen to, and things to watch. And so I hope that you will take the time to do that. And if you're interested, go ahead and go through that uh, short little checklist that's on the website and submit that well in advance so that I have a good idea of how many folks will be baptized on that day, July the 21st here at Pinnacle Baptist Church. But whether you become an online member of Pinnacle Baptist or you just listen and watch our services each week, um, I wanna thank you for all you do, for all you, the encouragement that you give to me. And uh, we have actually even folks that give online. I've never asked people to do that, but we do have people that do that because they wanna support the ministry here. And I want you to know that as a pastor, I appreciate that. We are sincerely trying to do the, the work of the ministry here. And um, I understand what it's like to try to find a, a good church. And it's not always easy to do that. So I'm very blessed to be a member here at Pinnacle Baptist. And we have a lot of other folks both here in person and those around the country that are too. So if you'd like to join us, we'd love for you to do that. If you want to just come be part of that service on July the 21st. I encourage you to do that too. Thank you so much and God bless you.